Pop Squad. Cool. Manetch. I'm only doing one video today. Uh, and I'm doing one video because I, it's already 12, 15. And uh, I have to get up and go to the dentist at 8 a.m. I have the appointment at 8 a.m., which is much, much too early. But I cracked a molar the other day. Big chunk came out. That was fun. And uh, I figured I should get into the dentist as quickly as possible. I had to work tonight until 10.45, so I got home, took care of the stuff I needed to take care of, and now I'm going to do one video and I'm going to go to bed so I can get up and be reasonable tomorrow because I also have to go to work at 11 o'clock. Yeah, so that's what's up. We are going to listen to something. Actually, this is kind of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Chloe Stankowski. Uh, Stankowski? Stankowski? I'm, st I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce her name. Um, sent in a track. I recently listened to I'm So Awkward. Oh, yeah, which I loved. I, could, I couldn't remember the song, uh, which I really, really, really liked. And uh, it came out on October 19th. I, I Sorry, I did the video on October 19th. And, um, oh, I should look at that because I want to look at the comments. Um, Chloe. And uh, Chloe left a comment. Uh, Hi, thanks so much for checking out the song and video. This is for um, I'm So Awkward. Check, thanks so much for checking out the song and video. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. You're very right about how the song sounds and feels fun, but also has deeper meaning and layers to it lyrically which I remember talking about that. Like, this sounds like a really light, fun, party song, but then you listen to the lyrics and you're like, wow, no, this is kind of heavy. Uh, to clarify some of the questions that you had in this video, Timeless Tomorrow is actually the name of the music collective that I founded and run with some of my best friends, and the album that this song is on is my debut self-titled album, Chloe. Which, uh, so the album is titled Chloe, released in April of 2024. In the first verse, when I say running in circles, rest in peace, Mac, that's me paying homage and respect to the late Mac Miller, who inspired me to start rapping. Uh, I think that's fantastic. I, I And there's no way I could have just known that, right? So I'm so glad that she clued me into that, and, I, and I, I think it's fantastic. The last album he released before passing away was called Circles. So hence the running in circles, rest in peace, Mac. Uh, the song definitely focused more so on talking about losing and grieving my biological father who passed away from alcoholism and how growing up in an environment with addiction has affected me as well as how drinking is used to deal with social anxieties and awkwardness, etc. I'm not sure if there's any other questions you had that I could address, but if you want to check out another song slash music video of mine, I recommend Scabs. The music video for it is on my channel. If you're interested, much love. Uh, wow, what a... I mean, just how awesome that she took the time to write and had some information for me that I could not have found out any other way, at least not that I know of. Maybe there's an interview with her somewhere. Uh, but I love it. I love it. I, I, it's just great. Seems very cool. Would love to hang out with Chloe. I wish I still drank <laughs> so I could have a drink with her. Maybe she doesn't drink. I don't know. Sounds like there's alcoholism in the family, just like mine. And uh, anyway, so that was very cool. So I want to do the song that she recommended, which is called Scabs. I have the lyrics here. Uh, this is off an album called Scabs from 2023. Uh, I did look at Chloe's Spotify page, and I think I looked previously, too, and there's no information about Chloe here, uh, which I think is a missed opportunity. Absolutely fill out this bio. That I just It needs to have some information. People who like your music want to know more about you. That's just how it happens. That's just it's a good thing to do. So let's check this out. From a year ago, Scabs from Chloe Stankowski. Stankowski? I please forgive my stupid pronunciation however i'm doing it wrong uh let's check this out and we're gonna enjoy a video two minutes 38 seconds scabs by chloe stankowski nice guitar Put in that work on me, yeah 
the idea of <laughs> singing and repeating a word like scabs as if it's like the most beautiful thing in the world <laughs> and it's and it's really it's not it's not a good word i mean it's not an attractive word right but she's sort of reinforcing this idea of um i mean in my mind i think she's reinforcing this idea of of doing something difficult and what she told us in this first verse is basically she killed her ego she killed the thing that was controlling her holding her back making her so much in her head and got rid of that and re like picked it apart like a scab and rebuilt something different underneath and became who she is now i i i have to believe that that's what this is about right like my life was not correct before and i had to cut it apart and pull apart the scabs and, and in order to become what i am now and then she's singing scabs, scabs and it's just it's it's not pretty and i think that's part of the point and and i think it's awesome Killed my ego for the first time in my life. I picked myself up hard like scabs. I picked myself up hard like scabs on my skin. I picked myself up hard like scabs. I picked myself up hard like scabs on my skin. Cause it was something to do. Cause it was something to do. I picked myself up hard like scabs on my skin. I had nothing to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It so reminds me of alt rock from the '90s. So reminds me of that. People like, let's see, bands like James. Oh, God, I love James. Um, and, and I don't even know who else. It doesn't even matter who else. Oh, that's a cool shot. Um, but I, I, I've been thinking recently how it seems like the world is built for people who don't question things, who are, who live unexamined lives. There is no room for us to grow and change as people except within a very narrowly defined corridor, right? You're born, you're, you're born a man or a woman, you go to school, you go to learn some trade, you find a mate, whether it's a husband or wife or whatever, and you have kids, maybe. Less and less of us are, fewer and fewer of us are doing that now. Um, fewer and fewer of us are getting married, especially at a young age. Um, and you're never, there's not room in life once you've started a career to stop, to pause and go, is this what I want to do? Is this who I want to be? Is this what I want to be? Is this where I want to go? Did I say that? I forget. Um, and I think this song is basically about Chloe taking a moment in time, 
perhaps it was <laughs> perhaps it was started because she took some shrooms and had a, a very intense experience that led to her questioning more about her life and her existence and who she wanted to be and what she wanted to be as a person as a creator and uh, a creator an artist and um and i think that's something we don't do enough of because i i'm 55 years old and i am continuing to change every single day i learn something new i experience something new i have a good day i have a bad day i have things that need to be done that I have no motivation to do and yet I have to do them and I need to figure out what the next stage of my life is because it's currently not working very well right and I maybe it's because I have questioned too many things about myself over the course of my life that I find myself in this situation but I don't think that's the reason I think it's, I think there's other things involved there, but I, I th think it's important to look at your life and examine it and figure out what's working and what's not working and then try to figure out how you want to move forward, what you want to do. And, I, and that sounds like that's exactly what Chloe did, what Chloe is doing. I mean, even though this song came out in 2023, I'm sure she continues to question things about her life, question things about where things are going. She's obviously dealing with a lot of things from growing up. Well, I say a lot of things. She's dealing with things from growing up, right? Like the song that I listened to, I'm So Awkward, the stuff that she said in that comment uh, about dealing with her father's alcoholism and his passing. And like, she's still growing and changing as a person, as everybody ought to. And it sounds like she maybe even had some deeper things that she has dealt with that she's talking about in this song spaced out on shrooms the psilocybin did their work on me i love the word psilocybin by the way it's just spelled like nothing else p-s-i-l-o-c-y-b-i-b-i-n i love that word i've always loved that word i killed my i killed my ego for the first time in my life i picked myself apart like scabs so that also gives you a picture of like how she conceives of her own mentality, right? Like it was it was just wounds that had healed over into scabs. And she picked it all apart and and it and became something different. Face down on the ground, I just hope I'm not perceived. I love that line. Like, sort of like, if I hide, nobody can see me, right? Face down on the ground, I hope I'm not perceived. The psychedelics took a hold of me because it was something to do. I killed my ego for the first time in my life. Uh, I, I, I really like this. I, and I like the idea behind it. Chloe, excellent recommendation. Um, go check out more of Chloe's stuff. I think this was cool. I would love for you to fill out some information on your bio so we could learn more about you, where you're from, uh, what you feel like you are doing as a creator, how, like I, whatever you want to write about. It's good stuff. What is overview? Oh, let's look at the overview. No, oh, scabs. There we go. Scab lyrics. Oh, it's just going to look up lyrics because I wrote down scabs. Uh, this was excellent. Excellent, excellent. That's all for now. I'm... I am also dealing with a lot. As maybe that video might have told you. Some of my comments about it. I... Need some things to go well. I hope everybody's doing alright. Pop squat. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please go watch another video on the channel, and uh, Cash App, PayPal, and Patreon information is down in the description of this video. If you would like to send me something to react to, I would love to hear about it in one of those places. Uh, Patreon's only $2 a month, and um, 
what else? What else? What else? Oh, a couple days ago I did a live stream. You can go watch that. It's on the channel. Uh, also down below in the description of the video is a link to a playlist that I put together on Halloween. Uh, it has nothing to do with Halloween other than I put it out on the last day of the month. And uh, let's see, here it is. It has, oh, 232 people have viewed it already. So it's got some Yeet, some Sewer Person, Little Lotus, Jane Remover, Subsad, Sheck Wes, Pierre Born, Blade and Echo 2K, Chief Keef, Lucky, uh, Little Ugly Main, and Little Ozzy Bear. I really am kind of loving this The Way Life Goes song from Little Ozzy Bear. I've listened to it a couple times recently. And, um,. I would like to believe that his message in that is true, but god damn if it could start happening a little more quickly. Uh, have yourself a good, good day. I will be back tomorrow with, hopefully, a full batch of videos for you. I only had time for one today. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.